And uh, this is uh, part seven, uh, the real part seven. Uh, just to continue with uh, my series on uh, what happened with uh, with COVID and how the situation internationally, nation by nation, got more and more sort of mixed up and confused. Uh, through the summer of 2020, uh, infection rates in the United States were fairly high, around 60,000 a day. Uh, but the situation did not seem unmanageable. Now, remember, there were no vaccines at that point. Um, part of the problem in the United States was that the American people got very mixed messaging about things like lockdowns and social distancing and so forth. There was a big push. Donald Trump was still president. And there was a big push to pour a lot of money into the stock market, but also to keep the economy running and sort of encourage people to go to work and so forth. Um, that policy meant that uh, there wasn't much social distancing and infection rates uh, went up quite high uh, in, uh, in the Americas and probably in Europe. Uh, the usage of masking was not as diligent or as universal as one finds in Asia. Now, numbers kept going up through the summer. They started to decline a bit in uh, the fall. But remember as well that the fall 2020 was uh, the time of a uh, presidential election in the United States. And that started to preoccupy people. Now, as people also remember, Donald Trump refused to accept the results of those, uh, uh, of those election numbers. And the result was a pretty close to a constitutional crisis in the United States. And so by the time that Joe Biden uh, had been declared or clearly was the winner of uh, the election and had been declared by, uh, by objective authorities to be the winner of the election, uh, there was no clear transference of power. And that, that political limbo and that sort of stasis uh, really exacerbated the situation in the United States.